Alright, so hello one and all, and welcome back to a small series called Micro Theory. Pretty much this series features theories too small to be in its own video, so I added a title to it, and now it's allowed. Today we'll be jumping back into the world of despair one final time before I play Dying Up a V3. Today I'll be talking about whether or not Junko and Chisa are still alive. I mean, I'm pretty much just talking about Junko, but if Junko's alive, then Chisa must be alive. I'll get into that later though. The main focus of this video will be Junko's big, round, beautiful eyes. Yes, her eyes. What I'm about to say could just be an artistic design or lighting that could make this entire theory wrong, but it could mean something that could change the entire series. I mean, at the very least, it's something that shouldn't be overlooked, as it could mean something. So in Danganronpa 1, we see Junko die by punishment from Monokuma but then it's shown that it wasn't her the whole time and just her sister. At the end of the season, it was revealed that Junko was the mastermind, and then she was later executed. But was that really her? I've noticed that Junko's eye color changes throughout the series. In Danganronpa 1, her eyes are faded blue. Her eye color in Danganronpa 2 changes throughout the game. In one image, she has glowing blue eyes, but in another, she has gray eyes. When I first saw this, I thought that it would be an unreliable source, but the color choices are actually a very important detail. In Danganronpa 3 Zetsubohen, she had bold blue eyes. So far, this information means nothing until you hear this. So here's some official art for the Danganronpa 1 Junko that shows her having gray eyes, but she has blue eyes in the anime. Junko's sister Mukura also has gray eyes, but this clearly is Junko. So either the artist made a last minute change, or what we see of her in the anime isn't actually her, but someone else. If you aren't convinced enough, in Danganronpa 3 Mirai Hen, Junko is having a conversation with Chisa in a theater. This is the only time in the anime that we see Junko with grey eyes. And like I said earlier, if the real Junko is alive here, then Chisa is alive talking to her, because at this point in the series, both of these characters are assumed dead. So anyways. Some people could argue that it's either just lighting, or the grey eyes are assembled because they're dead. I mean, even in their conversation, Junko says that they're dead. But has Danganronpa ever done afterlife or supernatural stuff? The closest thing that I can think of for supernatural would be Izuru with his powerful, immense strength. But for afterlife stuff, I don't know, Nagi had a dream about his old friends. Uh, that, that's pretty much it. So if the official art for Junko shows her with grey eyes, and the only time in the anime that we see her with grey eyes is in Danganronpa 3, when she and Chisa, two characters we thought are dead, are in a room spectating everyone from the newest killing game that they both were technically involved in, then I could only assume that both Junko and Chisa are still alive. But that isn't all. So take a look at this image of Komaru Nagi. Look at her big round eyes. They're green. Now look at Makoto Nagi's eye color also green. Remember, they're siblings. Next up is Natsumi Kuzuryu. Again, a green eye color. Now her brother, Fi- I'm not even gonna try. Anyways, green eyes. They're siblings. And now, Mukuro. Gray eyes. Again, we'll look at Junko from the anime. She has blue eyes. So every single one of the sibling pairs has the same eye color, except for Junko and her sister. And also, I did look it up and I found nothing on them two not being siblings by blood. I just wanted to say that. Junko and Mukuro's eye color would be the same if we follow the official art for Junko. This isn't a coincidence that Junko's eye color in Danganronpa 2 changes from blue, the color that we know her as, and gray, the color of her sister's and official art's eyes. Also, after the credits on the final episode of Danganronpa 1, there's a scene where Monokuma was lying face down on the floor in the middle of the trial room. He then suddenly started to talk and move a bit. As we know, Monokuma is controlled by someone. The only people that could have done this are, as far as I know, only Junko, the Remnants of Despair, or Manaka. So which one was it?